is also the scene of a crime as old as the Bible itself, the collision of faith and murder. The slaughter of hundreds of followers of a devout religious cult led by Joseph Kibwetere, who preached the restoration of the Ten Commandments of God and a millennium Armageddon. But nobody knows how so many people could have been killed with not a single person raising the alarm. The six corpses found buried under a building in the compound was just the beginning. A week later, another 150 in a mass grave nearby, then 81, then 130. By the end of it all, 720 bodies had been recovered. With more properties belonging to the cult still to be excavated, no one knows how many more there may be. But how did elderly priests manage to slaughter so many people and bury them in graves 20 feet deep? No one seems to know. Peter is the sole survivor of the cult fire. His wife and six relatives perished. That Peter is alive, a twist of fate, or perhaps as he believes, the hand of God. <laughs> The cult members had been fasting and Peter was hungry. So on the morning of the fire, he returned to his father's house to get something to eat. A decision that would save his life. What did you see when you went back there? Still, it didn't take long for the police to catch up with Peter. He was quickly arrested and taken away for questioning. His eyewitness testimony has placed two cult leaders at the compound on the night before the fire, but not Joseph Kibwetere. I don't think it's easy to kill a person. It should be hard work because the person is fighting for his life. There should be screams. There should be calls for help. We are finding this, this people with smashed heads. Joseph Kibwetere's followers were led there because they believed in his message, but they did not go to their deaths willingly and for their devotion have paid the highest possible price.